Here we are today, we're at Pasha Kath. It's Christmas Day and all of the community have come together. With, with, if they're not here today, they've given donations. There's heaps and heaps of presents, gifts and food and money that's been donated. But most importantly, Hazel, who runs the cafe, has brought along her staff and who are volunteering to give free food to those in need today on this special Christmas day. And the, the atmosphere is just full of love and cheer and it's just the most humbling experience to, to see these people all helping, all putting together on a very special day. This is community coming together. It's amazing. Oh, good. So how long have you been preparing all this day for? Oh, till about 10 o'clock last night. We've got roast. Wow. We've got cauliflower. Lovely. Loads We've got of broccoli, fresh, peas. Wow, you've got everything. We've got peas. And we've got peas again. We've got uh, broccoli there. So they have a lot of vitamins today. Oh, definitely. <laughs> and we've got uh, Yorkshire puddings. We've got stuffing. We've got Yorkshire puddings. Everything is wow. got to go. Very good. Such a lovely gesture. We've all kindly come down to support this amazing event and to tell us a little bit about his experience. He's also experienced homelessness. Could you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, I was made homeless when I lost my job. Of course, my accommodation was my work with my work. And I went to the council and got no help with them. And eventually I got put into a, a charity called Amos and got put in their place in Gloucester where I lived with them for six months and worked for them and I eventually got myself out and since then I found work and had good experience but now I want to give back what I had received. That's amazing Paul. Yeah. So you're, you, you, you've You've come out of it and yeah, now you're sure. almost inspiring those other yeah. people that experience yeah. it. But yeah. There is yeah. hope. There is hope. You've got to look for it and you've got to work for it. Did you yeah. actually experience living on the street? Yeah. What was that like? It was bad. Of course, sleeping on park benches in the rain and no one cares. You know, people just walk by you and look at you. Uh, it's your fault, but it's not always people's own fault. It's, you know, circumstances. Circumstance. It can happen to anyone. It can happen to anyone. It can happen to the rich. And it really can, and yeah. you're a prime example of that, Paul. And it is, yeah. It's the worst feeling. I mean, I, I, I have such empathy for people living on the streets, yeah. and I would never judge. And this is a reason yeah. we want to do this video. We want to sh get rid of the stigma yeah. that everybody that's on the streets has put themselves there, that they don't care. Yeah. Some people believe, you know, that this is, people want to be on the streets. You know. No, they don't. Who wants to be on the streets? No one. Paul? I don't think no one does. You know, it's. It's not in, how can I say, uh, like me, you know, I didn't want to go on the street, but I was forced onto the street by the council really, because when I went to them for help to get somewhere to live, because I've been thrown out because I lost me, they didn't care, they just, you had nothing to do, I'm a single man, you can find your own digs in that. You know, oh, but so, you can't always. No, you can't always. Especially when you're signing on, landlords don't want to know you. That's right. So, they, so, so every time there's a bigger barrier. Yeah. So you try and get yourself out, but they don't want yeah. to know because you're on the door. On the door. So you're in a catch twenty two. So, so yeah. you've got no family support. Did you yeah. not have any family support really? No. But, uh, so what do you think of this today? It's amazing. I'm proud of Hayes for what she's done. So this is Hazel, this is the lady behind all of the giving and who has fed all these people and spent all these hours preparing. Why did you want to do this Hazel? Because uh, like on a, a day like this no one should be sleeping on the streets, no one should be left lonely indoors and uh, Christmas is all about getting together and sharing and giving 
and yeah, I think is a humanity duty. I would say it really is. Yeah, it's such a beautiful, amazing feeling. I feel really, I feel really good. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I haven't slept properly for the last ten days. I've been cooking, baking. Maybe I had two hours sleep each night. I don't feel tired. I feel, I feel, I feel really good. It's something about giving, isn't it? That's so rewarding. Giving, giving makes it. I always say, the water can drink itself. Rose can it smell itself. So yeah, you can get loads. <laughs> of meaning out of that, so giving is good. I mean, this cafe has won awards many times, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. For being the... Uh, the Hospitality of the Year Award. The Best Cafe of the Year Award. I think it really deserves it. I mean, you can see the amount of volunteers and people that come together. It is just amazing. On Christmas Day... I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it without the community of sport, though. No. I couldn't have done it, and everyone has been so amazing. Like, um, with the donations, with volunteering to work, like everything, they've just been amazing. I couldn't have done it without them. I want to say a huge thanks to everyone in the community. It's not just in the UK, all around the world, no one should be sleeping on the street. And the humanity is the most beautiful create, created creation. We don't even leave cats on the streets. Okay, we don't even leave our, we don't leave our pets outside. If we keep them in, how come the humanity should be on the streets? Something should be done, everyone. Not, not just me, maybe I'm starting off, but my aim is to open a charity and my minimum amount is to get five people off the street into work. Those five lights, they can give a light to the other five. The other five, I don't want to see any human on the streets. just don't want to see it. it. It kills me. It really kills me. I'm speaking to Jessica. Jessica, tell me... Tell me your predicament for my um, Well, my son, I've got, I had a little boy and um, four years ago his dad hung himself at home. So um, when I went home from work, I found him and, and I had a breakdown and I lost my son. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. um, and it's just been really, really hard. And when Oliver went, I had a really bad drug problem and I've been clean for a year now and I've got a flat. And me and Charlie have been together for over a year, but but because of everything that's happened in the past, like it's really hard. We can't sleep in bed together or anything because I have PTSD and I wake up and screaming and, and stuff and, it, and I have quite a bad eating disorder and it's just really hard. 
me, sorry. No, it's alright. Don't be sorry. Listen, this is why we're here and this is why we're doing this today. How do you feel about this support? Like, I, my belly's not been this full for such a long time. Um, and Charlie didn't want to come, but I said we need to because we didn't have anything to eat at home. And we come here and we've just had a really good time. Oh, you know, there's all these presents and stuff. I'm, know, I'm no got... good, I'm not. I'm terrible. But I, this is why we've come, because we want to do our bit in <sighs> the community. And don't ever feel judged, because no. life can put us in awful situations, can't it? And yeah. That's what happened to you. You're a victim of circumstance. But I've got I've got three new teddies to sleep in bed with. And um, Charlie's having his hair cut. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I, so, I, what do you think about that? I think it's community. brilliant. With, brilliant. We've, we we sat sat at the table and we're talking to this lovely man and we we were just going to be at home like with nothing at home on our own and we've come here and it's just made it's just made me feel um, more positive about things and life yeah and more happy. Um, That's brilliant. Do you know what? The baby's been nice home and full. You're crying. <laughs> <laughs> There is hope and there's people like Hazel and like all these amazing people that have come today that really believe that it's all that there is support for people like. Yeah, well we didn't I didn't feel like that before but um coming here and no, nobody's judged us or anything and it's just been really nice. I'm really sorry that I made you cry. <laughs> <laughs> You made me cry because it's, it's from the heart and thank you for sharing that and being able to be honest about your experiences. We're speaking to Wahid, will you tell us about your business and what you do to help the community? So basically we're from Harlow but we go out all over um, areas like uh, Braintree, South End. We recruit student barbers, new barbers to gain experience. We cut homeless people for free, uh, ex-veterans, also orphanages as well. We go in there. The other day I went into a nursing home to cut some hair as well for free. Just doing my part for the community, you know. That's it's amazing. Always good. It's and also good to gain some experience as well. What do you feel about this today? Oh, this is great. Like Hazel, she, I've known her. She's my best friend's uh, mum from school, so I, I knew she was going to be great today. So I thought I'd come down, help out, do some haircuts, and yeah, see how it goes. We're talking to Louise today. Louise is one of the workers here. She she's funny. Oh, yeah. Four years now, in, oh, in April, the four years. Four years, and you are volunteering today on Christmas Day. Yes, volunteering today to help out with the homeless and the people who are less fortunate. How do you feel about this uh, event that Hazel put on? I think it's amazing. Honestly, the amount of effort that Hazel's been through to, to prepare this. She was going to do it last year, she plans on doing it next year, but honestly and the help that we've had from the whole community donating we've had enough food to feed the 5,000 I think. So, ha so you've just left your family to come today? Yeah because I'm not needed at home as much as I'm needed here. That is such a so. lovely thing to do. I was speaking to Abby and Ali. Yay! So this amazing day, Christmas day of all these people, how Tell me about how you got involved in coming along. Oh, well, um, the whole thing started with myself speaking to Azel. Oh. Yeah, I remember it was just right there and it's something we've had in mind for so long. And obviously with the cancer regulation, we couldn't do it on our own. And speaking to her, a lovely person, she jumped on it, took it up above what we expected and we're here today. So, um, that's it. That's amazing. Well, and, and how do you feel about seeing all these people coming together? It's and just overwhelming. Yeah. And, and, and Ali, you know, being you know someone who's trying to say something with your work, yeah. you're an artist, you're a rapper. Tell us a little bit about what you do and why yeah, you yeah, think I mean, it's important. Yeah, of course. Um, obviously, I'm a, I'm a musician, so I'm um, recently just been picking up. I've been going all around the world, doing a lot of shows and. And this, for me, is uh, it's important. I grew up in Hackney, so we grew up in uh, council houses, council estates, when people were less fortunate. Yeah. And then as we got older, like we started doing, um, I, I started just changing my life instead of being fallen into a certain system. Yeah. So I've, I've still got friends that are stuck there. I've got friends that are high in good places and everything. But personally, to me, this thing is a, uh, it's good just because like. I've seen it. Yeah. I've even, even in, not only in this country, even in Turkey, there's kids. Yeah. Every time we go there, I don't have to. It's not about 
trying to do anything, but I would always, uh, before the season starts for school, I'll go buy their bags, their shoes, their clothes. Before I go, even I would, I would always take my old clothes there, give it to them. So I, it's, it's everywhere, do you know what I mean? And especially in a place like Braintree, it shouldn't even be happening in Braintree. You shouldn't, you would think you But shouldn't. something like this, it's my mum as well. Like, she plays a big role in everything your mom, I do. How yeah. proud of you of your mum? I don't know, if it wasn't for my mum, if it ain't too sad to say, I would have I been here.